guys, what's up? It's Abs. Uh, so today I will be showing you some of my favorite things, uh, just things that, I don't want to call it a monthly favorites because I don't do them every month, but it's just like, because I don't buy things every month. Like sometimes I'm like, oh, well, I gotta save money or so, like sometimes I just can't buy things every month. And these are some things that I've just bought since the last time you watched my favorite video, which was back in February. Um, but yeah, let's get started in some stuff. First, which is actually a weird thing to start with, but I'm starting with this just because I bought it like three days ago. And it's this candle by Yankee Candle. And it is Sun and Sand. And I have had it in my little candle thing, which is like right there. Um, I don't really know how to, I mean, it's very summery, but it's not like, fruit like it doesn't smell like fruit at all like it kind of smells like fresh laundry but like fresh laundry on a beach like it smells like it could be a fall smell but it's definitely like okay i know this is a summer smell if that makes any sense and i love these things and also i've been making my own if you can see that in the bottom corner down there that like even if you take these out and like just pop these out and then put your own inside. That way you're still using the container for the inside of these. I don't know if that makes any sense. Uh, second thing is my Wi-Fi that I've been using. My dad got Xfinity Wi-Fi about less than a month ago and been loving it. Like the speed, the everything that I've been wanting in Wi-Fi, like top notch. Like it's, it's just been great. Um, and yeah, I think it's like 50 bucks a month and obviously I haven't been paying, I haven't been paying for it, but um, I know that when I do move out, I will be getting the same Wi-Fi because it's so good and it, it's Xfinity by Comcast. So that's where my Wi-Fi is going. Uh, third thing, and sorry for the dirtiness of them, but I call these Toms, even though they're basically like off-brand Toms. They're just like the Airwalk, like super simple type of shoe. This one's actually a little dirty. I'm just gonna put that one down. Um, but the inside, it has like cute print and they actually have a ton of different designs, like even like the lace ones that come on it and stuff like that. And these were $20 at Payless. And the next thing is, oh, it's underneath here are these shorts and the reason why they're my favorite is because there's a little joke behind them and they're these shorts and they're just kind of like Bermuda shorts they're kind of long I mean I don't really like short shorts anyway so long is better for me and they go to like right above my knees so they're not capris but they're also not shorts um they're like a good in the middle but if you can see like they have this pattern on it that's kind of like it's not just like jean, it's like lines. And when Dan and I were at the thrift store the other day, like picking out shorts and stuff like that, he was like, Haha, they're train conductor pants. Like that, that stripe white look of train conductor. And that's what they do remind me of, but they're literally the, like, they're really comfy and they fit me really nice. And I just fell in love with them immediately and I've been wearing them like crazy. Um, and I actually got them at the thrift store on their 50% off day. So these shorts right here were actually a dollar, which is the bomb.com. Um, another thing is my hair, and I don't really know how well to show you it, but it's, it's basically a Dutch braid. If you know how to do Dutch braid, that's exactly what I did. And I'm working on like improving them. Like I just restarted doing my hair like this. If you saw my Snapchat or whatever, um, I have it on there. But basically, it's like you start out with like a normal braid, but then like every single time you take a piece from the bottom and bring it up. It's not like a French braid where you're taking it from both sides. A Dutch braid is normally like you're taking it from the one side. So it, I don't really know. If you look at, there's like a couple YouTubers that uh, I got this idea from. So this isn't really my idea, but it's just my favorite hairstyle at the moment. Um... And some music that I have been enjoying. And I have a Spotify account if you want to go and follow me. Um, 
yeah, it's probably just Abby 14960 like normal. But recently, I have been listening to a lot of like older Panic at the Disco. And like, if you guys know me well enough, then you know that I love just Panic at the Disco. Like, I grew up with them. They're like, I've known them since 2007. Like, they've been my all time favorite band. But just like recently, I've just been listening to like their Pretty Odd album and like their older album instead of like the Death of a Bachelor album, if any of you know what I'm talking about, um, that I've just been listening to their older stuff and even their Live in Chicago album that they had that it's actually live. That's probably my favorite one right now that I've been listening to. Um, but yeah, and another thing that really, really excites me is that a while ago, if you saw my Instagram or you saw my Snapchats at all, I got a record player and I only have three records right now and I will show you them from least favorite to favorite. <laughs> this one is Dance and it is the James Bond album and it, it, it says the first James Bond film adventure. So that's number one. Oh, he's coming out, which this is Dan's. He picked this up at um, an old antique store. <laughs> Uh, but this one's my next favorite, which is The Beatles, and it's Beatlemania, and it has both records inside of it, which the inside makes me so happy. Um, it's just, like, it's super legit. Like, I, this is probably my oldest, favoriteest album ever. Like, I love The Beatles. Like, if you listen to Old Panic, like, they, like, they almost sound like The Beatles to me, even though I know that they're not. But, um... Oh, and I can't get that back in. Oh, well. Um, and this is the last one that I got. And this is actually the cheapest that I found. I found it at a local record store that I have. And I looked online. I looked, like, in my FYE that I have that I used to work at. And this was honestly the cheapest that I've ever found this in my whole life. Like, I have the 21 Pilots record. And it's the whole thing. Like, it was encasing and everything. And I got it for $16.99. And I am completely excited about that. Ugh. Ugh. It just, ugh, it makes me so happy. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you could still, I just didn't know where to put it right now. Um, but that's an exciting, and my record player's up there, and it's like a vibe one, and you can hook it up to your laptop and even like download records, like old records on your laptop and like make MP3s for it, but. That's cool. Um, next thing are these teas that Dan got me in Spain and a tea that my sister got me for my birthday. And these two teas, this is just like a normal, a normal like green tea, but you can actually like see the tea. Like it, like these are the two strongest teas I've ever had in my life. And they're from Spain. Like I can't even like, this one's kind of like an orangey, like, yeah, I don't really know. I mean, I he also got me Spanish coffee, too. And I'm loving that coffee. Like, I have the coffee sitting right at my feet. It is so good. Um, but these are two Spanish teas that... I mean, they're good, but I'm like... I, I just think it's really cool that they're from Spain. That's, like, my number one thing. Um, and this is so good. And it is from the Spice and Tea Exchange, which my roommate first semester showed me, Chloe showed me, but my sister actually just got this for me. She didn't even know that I knew about this company, but I already did. Um, and it is the Strawberry Shortcake Herbal Tea. And I don't know how well you can see that, but it smells exactly like Strawberry Shortcake. But when you like put it in water and stuff like that, it kind of just reminds me of like an apple pie, if you know what I mean. Um, which I think it actually has like apple chunks in it. I don't know how well, like those white things. I think those are apple chunks. Not exactly sure. Um, and then the last thing that I have is my Polaroid film. <laughs> um, which it was kind of hard to like, cause I bought it and I was like, it's 23 bucks for eight photos. Like eight instant photos, that's it, eight for $23, like that's insane. 
But I wanted to see if my Polaroid even worked because I did pay $15 for this with everything that comes with it. And I did want to see if it worked. So I was like, well, I should definitely buy film and try to figure out if it works. Um, so I got this from the Impossible Company, which if you literally just Google it, it comes up. It's literally one of the only places where you can buy Polaroid film at all. Um, but I mean, they came out pretty clear. This is just of like my pictures that are hanging up on the wall. And I mean, there was like a glare in it because I have the flash bar. But like, these are the three first ones that came out and they came out like, what? Like, like I literally thought my camera was broken. I'm like, what is happening? But one cute thing is that on the top of it, like to keep it, because they normally, like, I remember really long time ago of these that this came out first, but it didn't have anything on it. But now that this company's like making their own and it's really cool. And this one says, I believe things cannot make themselves impossible. Stephen Hawking's 1942, which is because he's not there. Um, and that came on top of the film. It actually came out first. Like once you put this in, it came out first. So, and that was really cool. Um, but that is all I have to show you right now. And if you guys like these type of favorite videos or just me showing you things or anything like that, obviously I can even make a room tour if you guys want. Um, but if you guys like this video, if you guys enjoy watching my YouTube channel, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below of anything you possibly want. Um, but I love you guys and I miss you guys and I hope you have a great day. Bye!